Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for my 35 week bump date and I'm gonna share a little bit of my baby shower and my baby shower haul with you guys as well. All right, so today is the morning after my baby shower and I'm still just on cloud nine. My dad and my sister, my mom, my grandma, went through just hoops to put this party on for me. We had a blizzard and that didn't stop us and they just, they made all of my favorite snacks and all of our friends and family that came and celebrated and just, oh, thank you, you guys. We didn't, you don't expect any of this and it just, it just blows my mind and I'm just still emotional and so happy and so thankful. All right, so. At the end of this video is when I'm going to get into the baby shower decor, kind of give you guys like a quick overview of what that looked like, and I'm also going to share with you what I got. But really quick, I do want to go over my 35 week bump date with you guys. I'm large and in charge, I'm sporting the bump, and I'm ready for this baby to come. You guys, actually yesterday, um, yesterday I turned 36 weeks, and I spent most of the morning working from home because I was snowed in. We got a foot and a half of snow, you guys. It was like absolutely insane and it was, the snow was blowing and yeah. So I was snowed in working, but I spent most of the morning actually kind of cramping and I wasn't feeling the greatest. I was having contractions. And I honestly thought it was go time. I'm thinking, what's going on? I am attributing a lot of that cramping, I'm assuming is from my, um, hopefully my cervix is like thinning and dilating. We will find out. But I didn't have any cramping or anything like that with Kai until like the day before I went in to be induced. So we will see. My daughter will be in and out of this video. She is watching a movie with her dad in the next room. And unfortunately, you guys, for year two, the stomach flu has hit our house during this Christmas week. So we're doing the best that we can, but but it's just kind of tough when you get sick over the holidays. You know, it's just like, ugh. But my, um, my blood pressure has been looking really good. It has been creeping up a little bit more, um, but I think that's just because of the swelling um, that's been happening. So like I was saying, um, having a lot of fluid retention. Um, I mentioned that in my last bump date that the fluid retention is kicking up. Not so much in my ankles, like my feet to that I was experiencing with Kaya. Um, but like my hands, every morning I wake up and they're just like swollen and tight and it doesn't help that over the last week, over Christmas, I've just been eating absolute crap food. Um, I have not been watching my carbs, carbs or my sodium or my sodium, or my, um, or my calories really at all. You guys, it's the holidays and I'm pregnant and I'm enjoying all the foods, that's for sure. Okay. Is that tickling you? We have a little visitor. My octopus. An octopus, yeah. Uh, oh no. Oh my gosh. Um, she still has like crazy morning hair and she's been snacking on some of the stuff and snacking on some of the Food's left over from last night, haven't you? You find some potato chips for breakfast? Um, uh, chip. Yep, breakfast of champions right here. All right, so fluid retention in my hands. It is, um, like I said, a lot of it has to do with like the sodium and then just like the ickies that I've been, I have been diving into this week, which have been so worth it. But um, yeah, in the mornings, just very tight. Um, there was one day where like my legs even were feeling tight and just, uncomfortable so I just kind of laid down that day took it easy um, it's getting to be a little harder to move around for me um, I still try to you know walk around clean my house what have you but it is just getting a little bit more difficult besides the Braxton Hicks and the Braxton Hicks contractions and the real contractions the cramping and the swelling in my hands um, I think that's really been the majority of what's been going on for 35 weeks. Now that I am 36 weeks pregnant, I am in full baby swing mode. I am ready to put all of his stuff away, clean it. We have to put up an extra rod in the closet and I need to finish. Um, there's two things I wanna finish before I do the nursery reveal for you guys. Um, a, as you guys can see, I need to get a mattress for the crib. Um, and then I need to put up, I'm looking directly behind the camera right now because there's a space on the wall where I wanna do um, a bookshelf. So a bookshelf and then possibly some shiplap if we have time. So 
I have quite a few things that I want to get done before this little guy makes his appearance and we don't have too much time so maybe if I'm lucky he'll come a little early but we will see all right, so in my last video as well, I mentioned to you guys that I was doing some things to prep for labor, and I mentioned to you guys that I was going to start taking my evening primrose oil, which I am starting this evening. I have some left over from the last pregnancy, and I just reordered a new bottle, and what I do with the evening primrose oil, if you didn't see my last video, is I do like to insert two vaginally every evening, and then I will take two orally every evening. And I only kick that up right around 36 weeks, for vaginally anyways. That helps to soften you. And I really feel like it was one of the big contenders and why I barely tore with a nine pound baby. I had like two stitches and I had an incredible recovery. And I, a lot of it, I believe, had to do with the fact that my epidural failed and I was able to control my pushing and feel my pushing a bit more. But um, I do feel like a little bit had to do with that evening primrose oil um, that I had been inserting since 35, 36 weeks. On top of that, this week what I am doing is I am going to be having a cup of red raspberry leaf tea each day just to make sure that my uterus is in tip top shape for the labor and delivery. What red raspberry leaf tea does is it just, it's, it's great for uterine health. It's really, it's just, it's great for, um, the, for the female reproductive system in general, but um, it is very good for your uterus. I will leave a link down below as to what the uh, benefits for red raspberry leaf tea are. Um, it's incredible stuff. I use, I believe, I've put it in one of my videos before for you guys. It is a canister of, it's called Labor and Delivery Prep Tea. It's by like that Stork brand. So, highly recommend those two things as that is what I am starting to do to prep for baby and to prep for this labor and delivery. All right. So now we are going to hop into the baby shower section of this video. I'm sorry this video is lengthy, but I wanted something that I could look back on and love and cherish for the baby shower that my family threw for me last night. And I wanted to run through all of the gifts for you guys that I got from my wonderful friends and family last night. This baby boy is so spoiled and I cannot wait to share him with all of you. I'm just, oh, just over the moon. All right, let's roll into the footage for the baby shower. did like a buffalo check plaid theme it was beautiful it was like a wintry frosty theme oh I loved it so much and the diaper cake was incredible <laughs> I've torn it apart now because I am ready to put the stuff away and start prepping for this little guy to come but my mom did such a beautiful job on the diaper cake like I said my family just went above and beyond and I can't believe how incredible it turned out it just was absolutely amazing okay so my last baby haul i forgot to include one of my favorite blankets so one of my best friends got me um got me a gift earlier in my pregnancy and i showed you guys the onesies she got but i did not show you this cute cute dinosaur blankie that she got all right so i ordered a custom blanket for him as hey, well yeah but it probably won't be here until like another week or so. Oh, we have another visitor. Hello, Marlo. Hello. You a sweet boy. So, the, so quick side note, if you've ever seen my dogs in my videos, this is one of their babies. They had puppies a little while ago. 
and my sister has one of their puppies so that's Marlo <laughs> I have a little bit of the diaper cake left over um, I kind of annihilated it <laughs> but you guys saw in the footage before this um, how sweetly put together it was and um, this is all newborn diapers this should be plenty to get us through the first couple weeks even though I have bigger babies these newborn diapers do fit do fit for the first week or two um and then i do have a ton of size ones that i was so fortunate to receive um from friends and family for the baby shower very very excited that i am stocked up on diapers but you guys these diapers are just so little i every time i just i how how i am trying to go in order here for you guys um to kind of like keep it organized i know i tend to be all over the place in my videos but um, these were the things that were on the diaper cake. So I have a box here. There were a whole stack of these bandana bibs that my mom put on there. And on the back of them is like a really comfy like felt material that will most certainly soak up all the pukies and the ickies. But these prints are so cute. I love like simple. This is just a white one. But I love simple designs because it's easier to match their um, outfits with if you have simple designs for bibs so that everything matches. And then in here, there are, this was a set of brushes that my mom put on the cake as well. Um, they're like super slippery, they're hard to hold on to. But just like your standard baby brushes, um, very sweet like I said, they're wooden they're like really good quality and then she put a bunch of these cute little bath toys on there never have enough bath toys for them i feel like i throw mine away so often for kaya because i get so nervous they're gonna get full full of like mold and then another little brush which there's a suction cup on the back so i think that this is for the bath um, and like scrubbing his little head and get, getting all the um, cradle cap off. And then there was a llama, which you guys saw in the clip on top of the birthday cake. We were trying to figure out exactly what this guy was at first. We're like, is it a llama? Is it an alpaca? Is it a sheep? We weren't really sure, but I think we came to the decision that it is a llama and it is from the Manhattan Toy Company he's super cute um, and the outfit that he was wearing and this is the outfit that the little llama was wearing it says new to the crew and that has a matching hat like I said this was the theme that they did I'm loving it and the pants oh I'm so excited I see like little things like this and it makes it so much more real I can't believe I'm having a baby. <laughs> and then there were a bunch of little socks on the cake as well for him. Um, they're really nice, they've got like grippies on there. Yeah, very sweet. And then a munch mitt, which I, they didn't have these when I had Kaya, um, but you just strap them onto their little hands. They're always chewing on their little hands when they're teething anyway. So to strap one of these on and letting them uh, munch away at their hand, I think is so genius. Really excited to try one of these out. And then um, one of my favorite parts of the diaper cake are these Como Tomo bottles. So these are the bottles that we will be using with baby boy as long as he likes them, I guess. I have heard nothing but wonderful things from um, from mamas, especially breastfeeding mamas who um, use bottles once in a while just to kind of rotate in um, so that they can get a break in the middle of the night or um, if they need to feed at daycare and they can't be there to breastfeed. I've heard amazing things about these bottles. So really hoping that we have Good luck with them as well. Again, they're the Como Tomos. And I will try and link as much of this as I can down below for you guys. I'm very excited to try these. They're squishy and boob-like, so I'm sure they'll work out just fine. All right, so moving into some of the other gifts that we got for him. I think that was all that was on the diaper cake. I tried to keep it all in one box so that I could go through it with you guys. He got this sweet, sweet teddy bear um, from one of my great aunts. Just the softest bear. Um, might be Kaya's bear for a little bit, <laughs> but they will definitely love it. How sweet is he? He's so cute. <laughs> then, of course, um, 
lots of onesies got lots and lots of onesies this is a Gerber pack um, I can't remember who got this one I think this was from our friends Cam and Alex but um, just the sweetest prints in here what's up baby look at these prints what is that your pillow yeah, I yeah. So, yes, very, very sweet. So my sister-in-law got me <laughs> the most useful gift. She got me just kind of like, I want to call it like a, a survival pack. So thank you, Jen, for the survival pack. Okay, so she got me a pack of the size one Pampers diapers, which diapers are so essential. She got me these, um the three-in-one breast therapy which I had these with Kaya and I actually ended up throwing them away in the move um, because at that time we weren't planning on having any children for like the next couple of years so I threw them away and I don't know what I was thinking but I'm so grateful that my sister-in-law got me these because these are absolute lifesavers for any of you mamas out there who have breastfed you know exactly how essential these are when your milk comes in and it just oh they get so sore and they get so full those help so much um she got us this um god what is it even called we had one with kaya as well we used it for teething a fresh food feeder so what we would do is we would put like a frozen banana or a frozen strawberry in here and we would let it get just a little bit mushy and then um the cold on their gums is so soothing when they're teething and this is one of our favorite um, pieces the only thing is you need to make sure that you clean it right away because it's super easy to um, get the food chunks like stuck inside of the mesh but it is a great product um, this is a new one and I'm really excited to try it um, it's called a first food spoons and it has like I don't know if you guys can see this um, it has like different ends on there so you can dip it or you can scoop it and it's like a soft silicone too so they can kind of chew on it but um, yeah I'm really excited to try this I haven't ever seen this product before so excited to try that um, and then she got us a passy grip because you guys passies like disappear to another land um, and then she got these little middies how sweet are these and she got matching um, hats for them as well. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Baby hats are just so sweet. Gray and striped. And look at this lion one. That's so cute. Adorable. And then she got him um, these, is it ma'am or mom? I don't know. These passies, um, but they actually sanitize right in the case, which I did not know. Mike pointed it out to me. You put water in the case and put this case in the microwave and they will, and they will sanitize themselves in the microwave. So, um, I'm excited to try this brand. I don't think I tried this brand with Kaya. Uh, maybe she would have liked passies if I tried this, but this is an orthodontic nipple. Um, yeah, with the, store, with the sterilizing storage case. And it's BPA free, which is always a plus as well. Um, but yeah, lots of passies. Speaking of passies, I realized that I forgot to show you guys um, the passy that came on the diaper cake. My mom got the Eco Pacifier, which I did register for this. Actually, I think a lot of the stuff that my mom got was stuff I registered for. Oh, she's too sweet. Um, but this is like the Eco BPA free pacifier. It has like a larger nipple on it. Um, and it just feels like really gooey. It feels good. Um, and then a passy clip to go with it as well, which this is actually like, these are teething balls, so they can actually chew on this as well. And the last thing that my sister-in-law got, got for this baby boy is a pack of body suits or onesies. Oh, they're so cute. I can't stand the cuteness. Strong like mom. That's right. <laughs> So my sister Bryn and Kaya helped open the gifts last night, so we kind of tore through these really quickly. So I'm kind of just like reliving it, I'm like re-experiencing it right now, which is kind of nice. Um, this is from my brother and his um, soon-to-be wife. Got a very cute pack of onesies for him. Lots of really cute onesies, you guys. Oh, they like go backwards, here we go. The fox one. All these like winter woodland creatures. So sweet. 
Also, I wanted to shout out my favorite photographer and one of my really good friends, Meg. She did our family photo shoot, so if you follow me on Instagram, which I know I probably plugged in at the beginning of this video, but I'll plug it in again here for you guys. Um, she does all of our family photos and they're so beautiful. She's been taking pictures of Kaya literally from like the day she was born. <laughs> so. We love her, she's been a good friend of ours for a long time, and she was there last night as well to capture some of the pictures from the shower, which I will be sharing on my Instagram when those come out. So make sure you're following me on Instagram if you'd like to see those photos. All right, so this is from our friends, um, Tyler and Brittany. They got, oh my God, are these like little Yetis? Like I said, you guys, I'm like just like reliving this. This is so cute. So this is a six month perfect and Look at the footies, <laughs> like little yetis. Oh my God, you guys, that is so cute. Then we got a bib and shirt set, which somebody said we got two of these, but I think they're in two different sizes. Um, this is in six months, which I am obsessed with this print. This like, well, you guys kind of saw in my last, you guys kind of saw in my last video that I like these like spotty prints. Um. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really loving this outfit. So, came with little pants, adorable. And we got some um, gas drops and some finger clippies. And I'm gonna hurry this video up because my battery's flashing now. It was fully charged before this. So. As you guys can see, I'm a little chatty in this video. Um, my sister got us a five-in-one cover and this is a nursing cover, cart cover, um, car seat cover, and a carrier cover as well. I'm really excited to try this out. I meant to buy one a while ago, so I'm really excited that she got that for me. More diapers. Um, and then my parents got this beautiful, ooh, if I can back up enough, this beautiful Moses basket. Like, just so sweet. It's full of like fluff right now, but, um, I'll have to insert like a big picture like either here or here for you guys of what that looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. All right, so from our friends Cam and Alex, we got the Avino baby set, which is absolutely one of my all-time favorites for babies. It's so gentle. Um, we got some more Passy clips and Passy cleaner. Um, this is so great for just tossing into the diaper bag from my friends Kayla and Maddie. They're actually my sister's Mom. friends, but I love them so much. You guys are so sweet. Um, got them, got him this cute three pack of pants. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. And then a three month in that outfit that I showed you guys before that comes with like the bib and the pants and the shirt. So sweet. Oh, it's so sweet. I love that print. Thank you so much. You guys are too sweet. My grandma, my grandma got just the sweetest gift. She got a play yard, which I will put in right here for you guys. Um, and then got him this beautiful sweater from Target. Oh, just the sweetest sweater. And to go with the theme, got him this cute buffalo plaid onesie. Just a handsome little man he's gonna be. And then a nice fuzzy warm blanket. It's so soft. I think she got this from Home Goods. From one of my other best friends. Thank you, Mick and Zach. Your guys' gift was amazing. They weren't here to see us open it. I'm loving these towels. These prints are so cute. Thank you so much, you guys. He doesn't have any towels yet, which is kind of shocking. I don't know how I forgot that. Um, oh, and their card. Your guys' card was my favorite too, with the little snuggle monster. So sweet. Um, but look at these jumpers. This brand, you guys, is one of my favorites. Um, in my last video, I did mention this brand, this Cloud Island brand, and I do have more jumpers in this brand because I love it so much. Um, oh, wow, they're so people. sweet. And then they also got him some hats to go with it. Oh. And the last thing for the baby shower haul is from Mama Shelly, which is one of my best friend's moms, um, who I've known for like 12 oh, years. Um, she got him the sweetest little set of oh, pants with footies and a couple onesies, a long sleeve and a, oh, a long sleeve and a short sleeve. So cute. And the sweetest little robe. Look at this robe. The sweetest little robe. 
so I cute. hold it. Kaya wants to hold everything that I'm holding up for you guys. All right, well that is going to wrap up my baby shower haul. Thank you again to everybody who came and showered this baby with the most beautiful Mommy heartfelt you. gifts. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, mom. You say thank you, everybody. It was so sweet. We had so much fun. Thank you again to everybody who came. We thoroughly enjoyed the shower. Thank you so much again to our family that helped throw us such a beautiful shower. We are just, we're feeling all the love today and we are overly grateful for all of you. All right, you guys, that's gonna wrap up my 35 week bump date and my baby shower reveal and baby shower haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit longer one because we only are doing one video a week for the last two weeks and next week we'll have about two or three coming for you. So that'll be exciting but if you like this kind of video on my channel please give it a big thumbs up. I'm really enjoying making this mom content for you guys because that is my life right now is being a mom. Be sure you guys stay tuned for all of the fun and exciting videos we have coming for you. We have the diaper bag videos, we've got the hospital bag videos, all the final bump dates Mom, and guys yeah. we're getting down there. We've got, we've got anywhere from one to four weeks before this baby makes his arrival and it is hitting us. So also stay tuned for the nursery reveal. I know I have quite a few people excited to see exactly what kind of theme we've got going on in here. Thanks again for tuning into today's video. Be sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Join our little family here on YouTube. Give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below with any other suggestions or comments that you may have. And I will see you guys sometime in the very near future. Bye guys. What a wonderful world.